I've got a message for you tonight. Tonight's message is called Stop Hiding Out. Stop Hiding Out. Yes, yes, yes. Stop Hiding Out. And I think we've all done it before. We've all done it, right? We had something that we were wanting to do, something that we've been meaning to do, and we just keep making excuses. And we just try to come up with reasons why we shouldn't get started or reasons why we shouldn't level up, why we shouldn't take our things to the next level. And a lot of times the reason why we hide out is because we're afraid of failure, we're afraid of rejection, and we're afraid of the things they're gonna make happen. And so listen, tonight's message is this. I'm gonna be telling you, come out, come out, come out wherever you are, and I want you to stop hiding out because this is your time to take your life to another level. This is your time to take your business to an entirely different level. And I believe that there are people who are your assignment who are waiting on you to show up. And it is my responsibility to make sure that you show up, that you stop hiding out so that we can take things to an entirely different level. And so before I go ahead and get started, let me go ahead and say hi to a couple more people. We've got Los Angeles in the house. We've got uh, Cypress, Texas in the house, Jackson, Missouri, Davie, Florida in the house, Victoria, Texas, uh, Louisiana. So I just wanted to say hi to a couple of folks before we go ahead and get started. Uh, also, uh, uh, fantastic, fantastic. So listen, as you're jumping on, if you know you've got some friends, some family members that could really benefit from hearing a message, this would be a perfect time for you to go ahead and hit the share button before we go ahead and get started. We also got Marilyn in the house, Marilyn in the house. So once again, before we go ahead and get started, my name's Andy Enriquez. I'm a strategic storytelling expert, speaker, trainer, and coach, and the founder of the Show Up For Your Life Motivational Movement. For those of you joining us for the very first time, this is a free motivational message that I do specifically just for you so that I can empower you in your personal life, so I can empower you in your business to level up and take things to an entirely different level. This has been taking place now for over nine years, over nine years, I've been bringing a different message each and every single week, believe it or not, for nine years to help people to be able to take their business to the next level, take their lives to the next level, but most importantly, to help them to show up. And of course, I want to thank you for tuning in tonight. And we're going to go ahead and get started right away. And so let me tell you one more time. Tonight's message is called Stop Hiding Out. Stop Hiding Out. And some of you may be wondering, well, Andy, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? I'm going to tell you exactly what I mean by that. You know, a lot of times we know, we know in our hearts that it is time for us to do something with our lives. In other words, we know that it's time for us to level up. We know it's time for us to take our businesses to the next level. We know it's time for us to leverage our gifts, our skills, and our talents, and find ways to use those gifts, those skills, and those talents to make impact in the life of other people. Some of us know that it's time for us to write the book. Some of us know that it's time for us to hit the next position in our company. For those of you who are in direct sales, for those of you, uh, some of us know that it's time for us to get to that, that next Next level uh, in our personal business. Maybe you've been tinkering and now you know it's time for you to get to the six figure level, the multiple six figure level, or even perhaps the seven figure level. Or you just know that it is a season in your life that it is time for you to go to another level. It is time for you to make more impact. It is time for you to create a shift and a change. And what I find is that sometimes when we know it's our time, like we know it's time for us to level up, we know it's time for us to go to the next level, we know it's time for us to take the thing that we're doing to the next level, here's what we tend to do. We start hiding out. And you say, well, Andy, what do you mean by hiding out? I'm gonna tell you exactly what I mean by hiding out. Like we start coming up with excuses and reasons for us not to do the thing that we know that we're supposed to do. And so we literally start self-sabotaging ourselves. And so we come up with reasons why we shouldn't write the book. We come up with reasons why we shouldn't make the phone calls. We come up with reasons why we shouldn't start putting in the extra effort and time. And a lot of times when we start making up in our minds is we start coming up with reasons why we're like not ready, reasons why we should wait. Like, I'm just going to wait till, you know, I, 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 uh, I'm going to wait till I learn this particular skill set, or I'm going to wait till the kids get a little older, or I'm going to wait till I finish up this particular project. And we start coming up with all these random excuses as to why we don't move forward. And I'm telling you this because this is something that I know. This is something that I've personally done. You know, for those of you who are who are listening to me for the very first time, and, and, and those of you who even know my story, you know that before I became a professional speaker, I was like the furthest thing away from being a professional speaker. I was working as an accountant. I was working as a CPA. And I'll never forget, 
I was with this like really great company, this amazing firm. But the reality of it is I just knew that I knew that something inside of me was saying, Andy, there's got to be more than this. And I knew that there was like a bigger calling and a bigger purpose on my life. But I'm going to tell you this, even though I knew that it was time for me to make a transition, even though I knew it was time for me to go after my goals and my dreams, even though I knew that it was time for me to go ahead and take a chance on myself, I'm going to be honest with you, I was hiding out. Because for about a year and a half, I just kept making up all kinds of excuses. And really, those excuses were really driven by fear. It was the fear of failure. Like, I didn't know if things were going to work out for me. Like, I didn't know what the next stage of my life was going to look like. Like, all I knew is I spent a lot of time getting my accounting degree. I spent a lot of time studying for the CPA exam. And I spent a lot of time to be able to finally land this big corporate job. And so... That's all that I knew at the time. And so even though I knew that there was something inside me was saying there's got to be more than this, like I didn't know like what the next phase of my life was going to look like. I didn't know uh, if I was going to be able to become a successful entrepreneur. At that time, I didn't even know that my purpose was to uh, become a speaker, right? I didn't even know that. I just knew that it was time for me to make a transition. And I'm telling you right now, for about a year and a half, I just kept making up excuses. In other words, I just kept hiding out, right? And 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 part of the way that I was hiding out, like I just kept saying to myself, well, Andy, you know, you did spend a lot of time getting your accounting degree. You spent a lot of time studying for the CPA exam. I mean, you know, you maybe you should stick around and work for the company a couple more years before you think about like making a transition. Or I would say to myself, well, Andy, you know, what makes you think that like you can become an entrepreneur? Like you've never been an entrepreneur before. What makes you think that you can actually make this thing happen? What makes you think that you could be successful at doing this? And then there's another part of me that when I started having like glimpse and thoughts of becoming a speaker, you know, there was parts of me that was like, well, what makes you think that you're qualified to be a speaker? Or like, what, how do you think that you're gonna make this thing happen? And so what happened is I just kept making excuses. And maybe you could relate to that. Like, you know that this is time for you to take things to a different level. Like, you know it's time for you to take your business to the next level. You know it's time for you to take your life to the next level. And for one reason or another, you've been hiding out. Like, you've been coming up with excuses. And I'm telling you right now, we come up with some of the best excuses. I mean, listen, I believe that the more educated that you are, uh, uh, the more the, the more wisdom that you have under your belt, the better that we become at making these bogus, elaborate excuses as to why we don't move forward on our goals and our dreams. Like, oh, well, I'm just going to wait and go get this other degree. Or I'm just going to wait till I reach this certain level of income. Or I'm just going to wait until, you know, the kids are out of the house. And so we start coming up with all of these reasons. And really, they're just excuses, right? I remember when I was still working in corporate America, that when I was thinking about making a transition, I started like trying to negotiate with life. I was saying, well, maybe, you know, maybe I should leave. But before I leave, I should probably make sure that I have a certain amount of money in my bank account. I should probably make sure that it's like the perfect timing. And I want to let you in on something. There's no such thing as perfect timing. And so I want to help you to stop coming out. Like, I want you to come out of hiding. I want you to take your life to an entirely different level. I want you to take your business to a different level. I want you to have greater fulfillment. I want you to make greater impact. And the reason why I want you to stop hiding out is because I want you to understand this. It's not just about you. I'm going to say that one more time. You no longer hiding out. It's not just about you. I mean, it's not just about you having success. It's not just about you making more money. It's not just about you having more fulfillment. I mean, all those things are really great for you. But let me tell you something. You need to stop hiding out because of the fact that there's somebody else that is waiting on you to answer the call. There is somebody else that is waiting on you to stop hiding out. Like there's somebody else whose life is dependent upon you answering the call that has been placed on your life. And there's somebody that's dependent on you literally come out of hiding. Like there's somebody whose life you're going to completely transform. I can't transform their life. Nobody else can transform their life. Like they are part of your assignment and they're waiting on you to show up. 
They're waiting on you to level up in your business. They're waiting on you to write the book. They're waiting on you to get serious. They're waiting on you to stop making the excuses. They're waiting on you to take things to an entirely different level. And until you're willing to show up, until you're willing to make things happen, guess what? They're going to miss out on the blessing that could happen in their life. And so I want to let you know something up front. This is something that people don't tell you. And I want to make sure that you're aware of this, that there's no such thing as perfect timing. I think there's so many of us that we hide out because we're waiting on the perfect timing. I want you to understand there's no such thing as perfect timing. As a matter of fact, the right time is right now. I want you to do me a favor in the comment section, put hashtag now, hashtag now, put that in the comment section. Because if you're trying to figure out when is the right time for you to go ahead and level up, when is the right time for you to stop hiding out and really work your business in ways that you've never had before? When is the right time for you to write the book? When is the right time for you to be the husband, the wife, the father, the mother that you want to be? When is the right time for you to start executing a plan to use your gifts, your skills, and your talents? When is the right time for you to pursue your goals and your dreams? When is the right time for you to do the thing that you need to do? The right time is right now, not tomorrow, not next week. The right time is right now. And so I want you to understand that. And I want you to understand that fully because I believe that there's so many of us that we just hide out and we somehow convince ourselves. We convince ourselves that, oh my gosh, I got to wait for the perfect time. Like I got to wait for everything to work out. Like I've got to wait for the kids to grow up. I got to wait till I get to a certain position. I got to wait till I finish up this training. I got to wait for me to get the right coaching and mentorship. I got to wait till I have the right amount of experience underneath my belt. I've got to wait on this and wait on that. And, and you keep waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and nothing happens. And I want you to understand because everyone doesn't tell you this. I know you keep waiting for the perfect timing. Like when I was working my corporate job, like I was waiting for the perfect timing to leave, like I was waiting, I was saying to myself, you know what, if I could just have the right amount in my bank account. And let me tell you something, when I finally made the decision, when I finally made the decision that I was gonna leave my corporate job, let me tell you something that happened. Like a week before I was gonna turn in my letter of resignation, a week before I was gonna turn in my letter of resignation, they end up releasing who all of the promotions were. In other words, they ended up releasing and telling us everybody who actually got a promotion. And when I went and looked at the promotion list, I was one of the people who got promoted. Not only did I get a promotion, but they were actually giving me a $15,000 increase in my pay. So I want you to think about this. Like it took me a year and a half to convince myself that it was finally time for me to go after my goals and my dreams. It was finally time for me to stop hiding out. It was finally time for me to start stepping out on faith and making things happen. Now. When I finally built up the courage, I go and I walk into the office and they release the promotions. And lo and behold, whose name is on the promotion list? Me. I've been promoted. Not only did I get a promotion, but in top, on top of that, I get an increase in my pay. I want you to understand that you might look at that or some people might look at that and say, well, Andy, that was a blessing. But can I tell you that all that did was make me start second guessing myself. And all that did was make me start saying, well, maybe I should stick around and continue to work with this company for another two years since I got this promotion. Maybe I should postpone and delay leveling up. Maybe I should delay going after my goals and my dreams because of the fact that I just recently got this promotion. And so I want you to understand this, that oftentimes when it's time for you to stop hiding out, when it's time for you to level up, when it's time for you to start making things happen, you better trust and believe that distraction, something is going to happen that's going to make you start second guessing yourself and wondering if this is the right timing. Like something is going to happen that's going to make you start wondering, like, should I like, should I go after that promotion right now in my company? Should I like go after getting to that next level in my business? Like, should I write the book? Should I make this transition? Like, I want you to understand that the moment you start thinking about going to the next level, the moment you start thinking about making things happen, there's going to be all kinds of things that are going to start happening that's going to make you start second guessing yourself and wondering if it's the perfect timing. And what I want you to understand is that there's no such thing as perfect timing. Like, get that out of your brain. I'm telling you right now, I left my corporate job in December of 2004. December of 2004. 
That was over 14 years ago. I want you to understand this. I want to make you understand this very clearly. I have friends of mine who were working with me in that corporate job, friends of mine who also had dreams, friends of mine who also had big aspirations, friends of mine that used to talk about things that they wanted to do. And it has been 14 years since I decided to move forward and I decided to go after my goals and my dreams and I decided to become an entrepreneur and I decided to work on my gifts, my skills and my talents and discover what my calling and my purpose was. And I have some of those people that I was working with 14 years ago who were talking about their dream, 14 years ago who were talking about their vision and they're still just talking about their dreams and they're still just talking about their vision and they're waiting on the perfect timing. And I'm telling you right now, if I were waiting on the perfect timing, I would still be working for my company or I would just be working another job. If I was waiting on the perfect timing, I would not be able to look back at my life and say, oh my goodness, that I've been able to have amazing companies and clients like Office Depot, Accenture, Pratt & Whitney, NASA. I would not be able to say that I was a published author, that I've been in Huffington Post and Black Enterprise. I wouldn't be able to say I was on national television. And I don't share any of that to impress you but to make you understand that there's no such thing as perfect timing, like your perfect timing is right now. Like get off the fence, stop playing around with your goals and your dreams. Stop trying to convince yourself that you don't have what it takes to understand that opportunity always takes now as an answer. And I want you to understand this, that there are some opportunities that are right picking for you right now. There's some opportunities for you to take your business to the next level. There's opportunities for you to go ahead and be able to get the, the fulfillment that you want in your relationships and your life. There's opportunities for you to get in that optimal health, for you to be able to have that level of spirituality that you want, for you to have the relationship, the marriage, for you to be the father, the mother, and everything that you want to be. I want you to understand those opportunities are available to you, but if you don't move forward on those opportunities, eventually those opportunities do go away. And I want you to understand this, opportunities really, they don't ever really disappear. They simply go to somebody else who is ready to act, somebody else who's willing to not make excuses, somebody else who hasn't convinced themselves that there has to be the perfect timing. And so understand this very clearly. I want you to get this. Opportunities do not go away. They simply go to someone else. And so if you're not prepared for the opportunity, somebody else is going to get your opportunity. If you're not ready for the promotion, somebody else is going to get the promotion. If you're not ready to step into this next season into your life, somebody else will. And so the only question is, will it be you? And so I want you to understand that. Like, you know, if I didn't answer the call on my life and decide that I was going to work on my gift, my skill, and be able to become this speaker and be able to courage. And so, listen, the opportunity would not go away. It would simply just go to somebody else. Instead of Andy Enriquez, you would be listening to somebody else right now. Make no mistake about it. And so you have to make the decision right now. Will you stop hiding out? Will you answer the call? And one of the first things I want you to understand is that number one, that there's no such thing as perfect timing. Now, the second reason why I believe that a lot of people hide out, I want you to get this. The second reason why I believe that a lot of people hide out is because they somehow convince themselves that they are not enough. You know, I can't tell you the amount of people that I coach that in the process of me coaching them, I get to see their brilliance. I get to see their gifts. I get to see their talents. And one of the things that breaks my heart is how many times that I can see their gifts, their skills and their talents, and I can see what they have the possibility and the potential to do, and somehow they can't see it for themselves. And I understand that because that happens to all of us, right? And that's why we need to sometimes surround ourselves with people who can see our gifts, who can see our talents, who are willing to encourage us because they can see things that we perhaps can't see for ourselves. And what I want you to understand is this, is that all too often that we pass up on opportunities that have our name on it. We pass up on opportunities for us to level up. We pass up on opportunities for us to take center stage in our life and be able to produce the kind of results that we are capable of producing because somehow we've convinced ourselves that we are not enough. And so I wanna tell you this right now, like if nobody told you this, you know, I get to work with people all the time and I help people to develop their stories. And unfortunately, I find out that a lot of people that when I look at their backstories, when I look at them when they were growing up, 
that unfortunately, a lot of people have had some difficult experiences growing up. A lot of people, unfortunately, did not have people around them who were telling them that they could do it. People around them who told them that they believed in them. People around them who were encouraging them. And because of that, unfortunately, that has taken a toll on them. And their self-esteem isn't where it's supposed to be. And they have somehow convinced themselves that they're not enough that they don't have what it takes to be able to have, to be the successful entrepreneur, that they don't have what it takes to be this extraordinary mother, this extraordinary husband, that they don't have what it takes to be able to leverage their gifts and their skills and their talents, that, that they're not deserving of having a six-figure income, a multiple six-figure income, a seven-figure income, that somehow they've convinced themselves that they're not enough. And I wanna tell you something right now, that maybe perhaps you haven't heard in a long time. And here's what I want you to understand. I want you to come in, listen carefully, listen carefully. I got to tell you something. Come on, listen, listen. You are enough. I'm going to say that one more time. You are enough. Like God is giving you some unique gifts, some skills and some talents, and that there is so much potential and there is so much that you're capable of. And whatever you've accomplished up to this point is only just like a little piece of what you're actually capable of. And all you have to be willing to do is stop hiding out and own the fact that you have gifts, you have skills, you have talents, and that you have extraordinary possibilities ahead of you. And you have to just realize that everything that you have is enough for you to take center stage in your life. And so I remember one of my mentors saying one long time ago that oftentimes what keeps so many of us from having success is not what we don't have, but it's what we think we need. I'm going to say that one more time. One of my mentors told me a long time ago, he said, Andy, you know, the real reason why a lot of people don't have success, it's not because of what they don't have, but it's because of what they think they need. And how many of us think that we need to have another degree? How many of us think that we need to have like somebody else validate our goals and our dreams? How many of us think that we need somebody to co-sign on our goals and our dreams and our vision? How many of us think that we need that we have to come up with all of these qualifications? I want you to understand, like you have enough to at least get started. Like you have enough to start getting the ball rolling. And so I want you, like if you agree and if you believe in your heart that you are enough, and I want you to get that, I want you to put hashtag I am enough. Hashtag I am enough. Put that in the comment section. I am enough because I need you to get that. Like if you don't believe that, I need you to wake up every single day when you see yourself in the mirror and before you go to sleep, you need to look at yourself and say, I am enough, right? Like you have exactly what it takes right now to be able to take your business and take it to the next level. Like you have exactly what it takes right now for you to be able to leverage your gifts and your skills and your talents to be able to make the impact that you want to make. You have what it takes right now to be able to write the book. You have what it takes right now to be the coach. You have what it takes right now to be the speaker. I'm not saying that it means that you don't do personal development. I'm not saying that that means you don't get coaching and mentorship. But what I'm saying is you have enough to at least get started. You have enough to get the ball rolling. You have enough to start making things happen. Like you have enough, like, like stop convincing yourself that you don't have what it takes. Stop convincing yourself that you've got to, you've got to do something else. Stop convincing yourself that, 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 you know, if, if you could just hold off and, and get that degree. And I can't tell you while you're sitting on the sidelines, trying to convince yourself that you got to do something else before you can get started. Somebody else is just doing it. Somebody else is out there making the impact that you should be making. Like, listen, if you're getting value from this message right now, do me a favor and hit the share button. Hit the share button if you're getting value from what I'm sharing right now. Because I know that there's somebody that you're connected to that needs to hear at least a piece of this message because it's really going to be able to help them out. And so I want you to understand, I told you that the whole point of this message is I want you to stop hiding out. I want you to understand that there are people right now who are waiting on you to show up. Like they're waiting on you to level up. Like it's great. I love the success that you've had right so far, but I want you to understand this is a season for you to take your success to the next level. Like I love what you have done thus far in your life, but I want you to understand that there is so much more for you to do and you need to stop hiding out in order for you to do it. In other words, you got to be willing to get uncomfortable. You got to be willing to put yourself out there center stage. You got to be willing to face the rejection. 
You got to be willing to deal with the fact that you may fail a couple of times, and that's perfectly okay. Most people who are successful have failed over and over and over and over again. John C. Maxwell, one of the leaders in the in the leadership space, that's why he wrote the book Failing Forward. It's all about stories about people who've been successful and how they failed their way forward. Like you can't hide out because of the fact that you're afraid of failing and that you're afraid of rejection. Because when you do that, what you're doing is you are delaying your destiny. You're delaying the opportunity to be a blessing. You're denying the, the possibilities for you to make things happen. And so I wanna remind you, number one, that there's no such thing as perfect timing. Listen, get that out of your head. Get it out of your head. There's no such thing as perfect timing. That whole, I'll start next month. I'm gonna start next year, three years. I'm gonna start next week. Stop, and I want you to start right now. Opportunity always takes right now as an answer. So right now, right now, right now, get started. The other thing I want you to get is that you're enough. You're enough. You are enough. Put that in your head. I know that for some of you, you've 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 gotten beaten down so many times. You've had some disappointing things happen. You've experienced some setbacks. You've experienced some failures. And even with those failures, even with those setbacks, even with those things that have happened, you're still enough. And I want you to understand, Failure is not who you are. Failure is just simply a, an event. If you have failed in your life, it does not mean that you are a failure. It simply means that you failed. Every successful person has failed. So just understand that all you've done is that you are starting to pave the path to success. There's not one successful person has failed. You show me someone who's never failed and I'll show you somebody who hasn't accomplished much. I'm gonna say it one more time. Show me somebody who hasn't failed and I will show you somebody who hasn't accomplished much. And so understand that failure is the price that you pay to be able to have admission into the arena of success. Failure is the price that you pay to gain access into the arena of success. So I want you to get that. It is perfectly okay for you to fail. And so understand that you're enough. It doesn't matter if you failed in the past now. Here's the third thing that you got to do when you want to stop hiding out. You got to step outside of your comfort zone. I tell you the reason why so many of us hide out because it's comfortable to hide out. Because when you hide out, you avoid rejection. When you hide out, you avoid you avoid failure in many ways. But what I want you to also understand is when you hide out, you avoid your destiny. When you hide out, you avoid making impact. When you hide out, you avoid answering the calling on your life. And so I want you to understand this, that at some point you have to be willing to step outside of your comfort zone. Right, Brian Tracy said that your comfort zone is your danger zone. Why? Because nothing significant happens in your comfort zone. Do you get that? The reason why your comfort zone is the danger zone is because nothing happens great there. Tell me the last time you did something amazing and impactful in your life and I can assure you that your biggest and most amazing moments in your life were all outside of your comfort zone. Nothing significant happens in your comfort zone. Growth does not happen in your comfort zone. You do not level up. You do not experience quantum leaps in your comfort zone. You do not break new levels in your business in your comfort zone. You do not hit new positions in your comfort zone. You do not lead and expand your capacity to lead in your comfort zone. You do not write books in your comfort zone. You do not deliver awesome speeches in your comfort zone. You don't change lives in your comfort zone. I want you to get this that everything that you want, everything that you desire is on the other side of everything that feels comfortable to you. And so part of you forfeiting hiding out is your willingness to give up your comfort zone, to relinquish what's, what's comfortable so that you can go ahead and acquire those things that are part of your calling, acquire those things that you were destined to do. I remember some months back, I was talking to one of my friends and this is a friend of mine who she has worked with some of the most amazing talents on the planet. Like she was like the right hand lady for many years for Les Brown. Like she, she was like one of the trainers assisting Les Brown, who as many of you know, is my mentor, one of the top speakers in the world. She was like Les Brown's right hand lady. She facilitated trainings. She did so many things. Then after Les Brown, she started partnering up with somebody else and she was that lady's right hand lady. And, and one day her and I were on the phone and she says, Andy, here's the thing. I've been helping so many people build seven figure businesses. I've been, I've, and those people have seen my gifts. They've seen my talent because they have, 
had me train their people. They've had me train their audiences. But she says, you know what I realized is that for the past 10 years, I've been hiding out. I've been using my gift for other people, but I haven't been leveraging my gift for myself. I've been realizing that the reason why I've been so busy helping other people is because I didn't want to have to grow my own brand. I didn't want to have to grow my own business. And I looked at her and we were talking and I said, you know what? You're absolutely right. You've been hiding out. And at some point she was helping me. And I said, you're far too talented to be helping all of these people. And your season, there's a season for everything. You help these people, you have grown, you have learned. Now it is time for you to answer the call on your life. It is time for you to stop hiding out. And the same thing that I said to her is the same thing I'm gonna to say to you. It is time for you to stop hiding out. It is time for you to answer the call. There are people who are waiting on you. They are your assignment. They've been waiting on you to show up. They've been waiting on your book. They've been waiting on you to start really working your business the way that you should be working your business. They've been waiting on you to tell them about your business. They've been waiting on you so that they can become your customer and your client. They've been waiting on you so that they can hear your message. They've been waiting on you to answer the calling. They've been waiting on you to show up. And so the only question is, will you answer the call? Will you show up? Will you stop hiding out? And so I'm hoping that you will. And I want you to understand that part of you hiding out is acknowledging the fact that number one, that there's no such thing as perfect timing, like the perfect timing is right now. Number two, understanding that you are enough. Stop convincing yourself that you need something else before you can get to the next level. You have what it takes right now. Like put in the time, put in the effort, stop making excuses and come to the realization that you are enough. And then understand this, that you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to get uncomfortable. Like you're gonna have to get rid of your comfort zone. It's gonna cost you something, right? It's gonna cost you your sleep. It's gonna cost you your time. It's gonna cost you your ego. It's gonna, you're, yes, you're gonna deal with rejection. You're gonna deal with failure. You're gonna deal with setbacks. So what? So what? Get out of your comfort zone. And when you do that, you begin to grow. When you do that, your assignment begin to show up. When you do that, you begin to make impact. When you do that, your business goes to another level. When you do that, everything changes. And so the only reason why you're listening to me right now is because this message was specifically for you. Like it is time for you to stop hiding out. It is time for you to level up. It is time for you to answer the call. Do me a favor right now in the comment section, put hashtag answer the call, answer the call, answer the call. There are so many of you. There's been a knock, a knock, knock, knock. Life's been knocking, knock, knock, knock. Come on. When are we going to take this to the next level? Knock, knock, knock. When are we going to take this business to the next level? Knock, knock, knock. When are we going to go ahead and just blow this thing out of the water? Knock, knock, knock. When are we going to leverage our gifts, our skills, and our talents? Knock, knock, knock. When are we going to write the book? Knock, knock, knock. When are we going to take things to another level? And life has been knocking on your door over and over and over and over again. And this is the time to answer the call. If you're ready to answer the call, do me a favor, put hashtag answer the call, hashtag answer the call. Because I believe that there comes a time that every single one of us needs to answer the call. And understand, you do not answer the call one time. If you have answered the call before, there will become a bigger calling for you to make more impact, for you to make more changes, for you to do more things. And so every single time you answer the call, there will be another call that's placed on your life for you to level up, for you to show up at a different level. So never ever rest on your laurels. I love the fact that you've accomplished some amazing things. That's awesome. But understand there's so much more for you to accomplish. And so get past, like get past this whole ideology and this thing in your mind. Well, I did that a year ago, Andy. You know, that's good. Celebrate that, but don't celebrate long. Now it's time for you to answer the next call. Like what's the next season gonna look like? Like I just came off of two amazing, in the past like two weeks, two amazing like keynotes and making impact. Like that's awesome, we celebrated. But the celebration doesn't last more than a day, baby. Now we gotta move on, what's next, right? Well, what else, right? I've gotta always be thinking about the next thing. I've got a training, I got a client coming in tomorrow. We're doing a VIP day. Like there's always gotta be the what's next. When you answer one call, there's always gonna be another call for you to answer. And I wanna make sure that you're aware of that. Now, before I, I send you off, I know many of you have already taken advantage of this, but if you haven't done so, I want you to do this right now. I have a free training. It's a quick video training that I have uh, in which in the video training, I show you how to be able to leverage your stories 
so that you are able to actually connect with people so that you can overcome some of the objections that they have and you can get them to take action. If you haven't taken advantage of this training in the past, and I know many of you have, but many of you have not, here's what I want you to do right now. Pull out your cell phone and text the word STORY to 954-278-3701. Once again, you're gonna text the word STORY to 954-278-3701. Once you text the word STORY to 954-278-3701, you're gonna be prompted to then put in your name and then put in your email address. Just simply follow the prompts. And once you follow the prompts and you've completed it, about 15 minutes later, you'll get an email that has access to the training and you'll also receive a text message that gives you access to the training. That's my gift to you. That's my gift to you. So that's something I wanna make sure that you take advantage of. But once again, I wanna tell you this, the whole reason why I wanted to share this message with you is because I, I just come across too many people that, that have so many gifts, so many talents, so many people that, sh that are ready to get to the next level. Like they're ready to take their business to the next level. They're ready to take their finances to the next level. They're ready to take their relationship to the next level. They're ready to take their health to the next level. And what I realize all too often is this, is that oftentimes we are hiding out. When I say we're hiding out, I mean, we're hiding out in a major way. And I'm gonna tell you right now that the conversation I'm having with you is the same conversation I have to have with myself. That every single one of us, even as we continue to grow, that we will be inclined to want to hide out. We will be inclined to want to stay in our comfort zone. We will be inclined to, 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 to avoid stepping out there because of the fact that, 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 that we're afraid, that we're afraid that things are not going to work out, that we're afraid that, you know what, ah, well, what if it doesn't work out for me? And what I want you to get, what I want you to get, what I want you to get this very, very clearly, I need you to get this very clearly, is that this is the one thing that you got to understand that when you continue to hide out, you are not only doing yourself a disservice, but there are some people out there who you can literally change and impact their lives. And their lives is going to stay exactly the way it is until you decide that you are going to stop hiding out and that you are going to answer the call. And so I'm gonna repeat this one more time so that you know that the key for you to stop hiding out is to understand this, that number one, that there is no such thing as perfect timing. The perfect time is right now. When is the best time for you to write the book? Right now. When is the right time for you to pick up the phone and start really, really getting serious about taking your business to the next level? Right now. When is the best time for you to get uncomfortable and for you to really, really get serious about leveling up? right now. When is the best time for you to leverage your gifts, your skills, and your talents? Right now. The second thing that I want you to understand is this, is that you are enough. Don't let anyone convince you that you don't have what it takes. Don't let anyone convince you. Don't buy into where I'm not educated enough. I'm too old. I'm too young. I don't have the experience. I don't have this. All of that is a bunch of baloney. You've got gifts. You've got skills. You've got talents. And for your assignment, you have been given what you need for your assignment. And so you are enough. And so all you have to do, all you have to do is right now, right now, be willing to answer the call right now to be willing to stop hiding out. And then the other thing is, I want you to get this, is part of you no longer hiding out is that you've got to step outside of your comfort zone. All right. You've got to step outside of your comfort zone. I know, I know, I know that every part of you wants to stay in your comfort zone. It's comfortable there. You don't have to deal with rejection there. You don't have to deal with failure there, but I want you to understand also that nothing significant happens in your comfort zone. And so at some point, you gotta be willing to get uncomfortable. At some point, you gotta get out there. At some point, you gotta talk to people. You gotta deal with the rejection. You gotta deal with those things. And when you do, amazing things begin to happen. And so I want you to get this, that you answering the call, you getting out and stop hiding out, it's not just about you. It's about all the people whose lives you're going to change and whose lives you're going to impact. And so I just I just want to tell you this, that I do this. And as you guys know, I have, have jumped on these Thursday calls. I've done these things from different countries. I've done these things from Haiti, from Jamaica, from Costa Rica, from Mexico, from, from England, from Africa, right? And the reason why I show up every single Thursday is just so that I can continue to make an impact and, and, and share with all of you. 
Like I'm grateful for the way that I've been blessed in my business. I'm grateful for my corporate clients. I'm grateful for my one-on-one -on -one clients. I'm grateful for all the people who come to my Master Storyteller Academy. But this is part of the way that I contribute in the way that I give back. And so I just want to thank you for taking advantage of this. Make sure that you share this because I'm pretty sure that there's somebody you're connected to that could really benefit from this message. Uh, and also, if you haven't already done so, make sure you take advantage of that uh, free short training that I have. Uh, and, and that'll be a way for you and I to just continue to stay connected. And so once again, I just want to remind you, stop hiding out, answer the call and get out there and make some great things happen. And I can't wait to hear about your success stories. I can't wait to hear about how things are shifting and how you're experiencing changes in your life. And so listen, I'll see you same time, same place next week, Thursday, eight o'clock p.m. Eastern.